Hey, the Brick Master here. That's going to be my Exo World episode 20 review. Great episode. Really, really enjoyed this episode here. Episodes get better and better. After, I mean, it's every, every, every episode gets better and better. I'm just, I'm really, really enjoying the show. Really, really enjoying the show. So I cannot wait for the next episode. So let's get into this. We went back to the stuff that we all wanted to see, really. We all wanted to see this. The Kiro Kimi business, get that out of the window. You know, get that crap out of here. You know, go back to freaking Nomi versus um, Taku and Haruyuki. That crap, you know, we went, we went back to that stuff. And so we, we see what happens, you know. She was like, yeah, 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 I'm killing you. And so, you know, he does the whole, she does the whole healing. And then he gets back up. He's like, <laughs> he's just he's getting all strong. He's like, I'm so powerful. I will never lose now. I'm super strong. You know, he's just freaking gloating how powerful he is. And he's like, I, I can break the whole hopes and dreams of everybody now. You know, I can make all the little, little girls cry. <laughs> and so, yeah, he's gloating and everything. That made Taku all angry. Same with um, Haruki. Haruki's about to jump in there. But Taku's like, no, nah, I'm going to do it. No. Nah. And so when he jumps in there, yeah, like that, all of a sudden that sucker got turned into Legos. That freaking dude just fell apart. I mean, seriously, it's freaking. He's just jumping there. It, it was over. It was over. He, he was done. He was done. Put him back together. Oh, no, you can't put him back together. And I'll also say this when um, Nomi kicked uh, Taku's head to Haruki, it's, it kind of reminded me of, Dr of Dragon Ball Z where it was, it was um, Cell versus Gohan. And you know, you see Android 16 head right there and everything. Kinda it kinda reminded me of that in that scene it's a little bit. It wasn't like that, but you know, I was thinking like Ghost of Sand 2, Ghost of Sand 2, because he got all angry after that. He's like, I gotta I got destroy him. And he's getting all angry and stuff, and so then he has a little thought in his head. He's like, Yes, let your anger flow, let your anger go. And so I mean so he's like, do it, kill him, get him. And so yeah, he's he just started going crazy and his eyes turned white and he looked freaking terrified. I mean, he was scary looking. I mean, seriously, I didn't think Haruki can look scary, but well, he did it. Yeah, that's not gonna look scary. And so, he's like, oh, I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna die! Oh, my life! Oh, and stuff. So, he's in the doing the karate chop, you know, the incarnate system crap. I mean, he was he was going red. He was going angry. That's look like the armor catastrophe he's trying to take him over. Some kind of crap's happening right there. And so, uh, freaking Nomi's like, oh, whoa! Whoa, where did all the power come from? He, like, he didn't expect all that freaking power to happen and stuff. And luckily, luckily, the time ran out after that. And so he went back, they went back to what they were doing. Nomi doing his test, you know, Haruki just running on track and stuff. And the funny thing is, too, it, it just, it was stupid. Freaking Chiyu, you know, she, he, he healed, she healed uh, Nomi, right? And as they were fighting like that and stuff, she's like, stop it. Stop it! And she, when she saw Taku got get, just got the um turn to Lego, she's like, oh my god, oh Taku and stuff. You know, she's I mean, she's like getting all sad, like you you, you were the one freaking healed him. It would have been over if you didn't do anything. But eh, eh, no, no, just yeah, stupid. So yeah, after all that was going down and, and they went back out of the fight and stuff, Taku and Haruki confront Chiyu, and Chiyu's excuse for this whole thing is that I'm switching sides with him. Because I'll get points with him, basically. That's what's going down. If I help him heal, if I heal him and stuff like that, I'll get. Um, he'll share some of the points with me. Is what's gonna is going down. That's what that's what she's doing. I like. That's not a good excuse. Get that crap out of here. We already know that's not even true. You don't even know what this game is about. Like, get the heck out of here. You, you just joined the game like what two days ago? Yeah. <laughs> get that crap out of here. So you know they they didn't really believe that, and then you know it was kind of sad because he, he was like, "What about the three of us?" And she, she was like. He walks away. I'm like, well, it's your fault. I mean, come on. You shouldn't heal them. You shouldn't heal them. But uh, yeah, so they're sitting down. Another touch of scene right here. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what they can do. And um, ha um, Haruki actually tells Taku about the um, incarnate system, which is cool. So then he's gonna end up trying to learn it. But they're trying to figure out who they're gonna go to. So they're thinking, let's go to Sky Raker. But we don't Sky Laker. But we're not sure. But we're not sure yet. You know, because I mean, I'm sure she'll just teach us again. Not to mention, that's only apply a one time deal because Astro is going to come in there and be like, yeah, you can't do this. Is, you know, he was trying to Im imitate him and everything. And so they were eating pizza. And the little sad part right here, you know, Taco started to cry because there's three three slices. You know, three slices. One, they end up picking one and stuff. And then Haruki ends up seeing Chiyu. She's like, hey, you got a bigger piece than me. And he saw that. And then apparently he must have the same thought or something. He just started, Taco just started crying. I'm like, Bro tears, man. Bro tears. It's okay, man. It's okay. And so he's like, I don't believe this whole bit mess with she's doing. She don't, she don't want points. There must be some other thing. She says, Something's going down. Something is going down. So that's what's happening right now. And so he ends up um, having this weird, weird dream. Um, Haruyuki, because after the whole thing was over, he had this weird, weird dream. 
Oh yeah, not to mention I forgot. Oh, before that dream happened, now they were talking and stuff like that. They're gonna um go with Scarlet Rain. They're gonna talk to Scarlet Rain because they most of the kings should know about the incarnate system. So they're trying to figure out how Kotaku can learn this. Well, Scarlet Rain, you know the little girl that was there before the Red King. So we're, they're gonna go talk to her. But yeah, as I, I, I was all over, he went to sleep. Haruki, he had this weird freaking dream. He's like, um, Haruki, man, don't leave me, please, don't leave me. I, I love you and stuff. And then he got all super big mode and stuff like that. Cause like you don't love me, cause I don't know. I mean, so more, and you're flying. I don't care anymore. Ah, are you gonna be with me forever? And so he's like, I was like, oh. Okay, dude. But that was his dream, of course. It was a dream. He's like, I'll never do that and stuff. And so he felt bad about that. Called Kurikihime Hime. And she's just saying, I felt lonely. And it was, it was a nice romance, like, like relationship kind of scene. I, I like that. She's like, I miss you too. I was like, oh, oh, that's just cute. You know, I was, I was just, I was sorry. So um, as that all was going down right there. So he goes back to school the next day, or that following day and everything like that, and he ends up getting interrogated by a teacher about the whole camera business, you know, the whole thing that was going on with what, how, they, how they got set up for this whole thing in the first place. So he was getting interrogated, and he's like, nah, you know, I just went there to see my um, friend do his Kindle class and all that crap. I didn't do anything else. You know, he's like, I didn't, I'm didn't. i not ashamed of anything I did. And since all that's out the air and everything, everyone knows this. All the kids are, like, trying to get away from him and stuff because they think he's a creep and, you know, he's just stupid and stuff. So it's just like... No one's talking to him anymore. He has no friends like that. And well, you, you know, he has friends. He has talk and stuff. But it's just like people are messing with him now. He goes into his classroom. And this kid's like, "Hey, I got a word with you. Come to the roof by yourself. I got something to talk about." And so he's like, "Fine, let's go." And so then talk is like, "Wait, don't go." He's like, "No, it's fine. It's fine." And so he ends up taking the beat down that he was getting and stuff. And he's like, "I'm telling you, I I didn't do anything." And he's like, "Well, if you prove this, then you can hit me a couple of times in. But until then, I'm gonna pound your face in." And so I'm like, "Just." Because, you know, he has a girlfriend in there. He's like, my girlfriend was taking a shower at the time. And he's going to have cameras like that. And he's like, yeah, I didn't do it. So it's just like, I have to endure this. I have to endure this. It was just, it was, it was sad. Because he, he has to go through this freaking pain. This, all this crap that he has to go through because of freaking Nomi. And Nomi at the end of the episode, they are looking at each other. And Nomi's like, I got you. And freaking Haru was like, you, just choke him. Kill him. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It was just. You know, it's sad to see that no one's talking to him anymore. Just everyone's just segregating themselves from him. He needs to tell her he may. I mean, I know there's three days left, but tell her already. Just tell her. Just tell her what's going down. At least it's something. I don't know. Because I know when Kirikima comes over there, no me going to get de destroyed. He's going to turn to Legos. It's, gonna, it's, it's just, God, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, hopefully this whole thing works out for them. Because he got this whole plan basically to run out all his points. So then he'll lose his, you know, the whole XL world stuff. Because once you run out of points, it's over. It's game over for you. So, you know, he should be on limited amount of points as it is. Because he keeps using all, um, no, he keeps using all his points. So that's what the plan is try they're trying to do. So hopefully they take that out. They take that out. You know, they take that into consideration. Take that out. They get, they, that's only the only way they can defeat him. So they're going to have to defeat him a lot of time. That's what it seems like. That's what their plan is. So, I mean... You know, maybe when Chi heals him again, you know, not kills him again, get him again, kills him again, kills him again, kills him again. Then he's losing points because he's losing. But I don't know. So hopefully that's what the maybe that's what that can happen. Hopefully they can def defeat him. Let's see what this armor catastrophe was going on. I'm curious if that's what that's really going on with um Haruyuki right now because he was having this dark, just crazy crap happen. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. Let's comment below. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below and tell me what you think of this episode here today. Like, like this little review here. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more XOR reviews. So yeah, it's been the Break Master. And until then, break out.